thought for the day. Be your own reason to smile. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we're embarking on a path of self-love despite our imperfections. Have a listen. What are your expectations? What do you expect to get from life? What do you expect to get from your business? What do you expect to get from your relationships? What is your ideal day? What is it that you expect from this experience, this trip, this journey that you're involved in? People that that have a strong sense of self-approval, they have high expectations for themselves and from life and from others. See, a lot of people don't expect much from life. So they don't shoot for much. They're not preparing for much. A lot of people are just showing up in life. A lot of people just get up in the morning and they go through the day, they go to the job just to pull a check down, watching the clock coming in. So you want to be a different kind of person as you forward your life. You want to get something out of this. If you're going to do it, it's worth your time, your energy. You've got some expectations from this. So examine your expectations versus your wishes. Some people wish they could do better. But some people expect to do better. Where are you on that? And love yourself. Make caring for you the highest priority in your life. Take care of you. Look out for what truly satisfies you. We're not taught to love ourselves. We're not taught to look out for ourselves. We're not taught to take care of ourselves, to become sensitive to our wants, to our needs, our our desires. So make a conscious effort. Make you number one priority. Your peace of mind. Your health is more important than your family and any and everybody. Because if you don't have peace of mind, if you don't have your health, you can't serve anybody. Don't neglect yourself. A lot of us, and particularly ladies, have been groomed to be sacrificial lambs. Putting their dreams on the back burner in deference to their children's dreams or their husband's dreams or their family's dreams. And forget about themselves. Then become resentful and angry and bitter. So start taking care of yourself, looking out for you. Develop a health plan. Your health is all you got. So start taking care of you. Eating nutritious meals, willing to exercise your body, taking care of this body, loving yourself. So do some good stuff for yourself on purpose. Take some time out for you. You can't develop and manifest your greatness. You can't be a high achiever if you don't feel good. You don't take care of yourself. It takes the edge off your life. It helps you to manage things rather than allowing them to manage you. Gives you more personal power to deal with stuff. Take care of you. Now here's something else I suggest for you. Become aware of what your needs are and develop compassion towards yourself despite your human defects. Develop compassion for yourself despite your human defects. You will never be perfect. Hello. You will never be perfect. You're human. You've made a lot of mistakes. You've done a lot of dumb, stupid things. Guess what? You're not through yet. You've got to learn to be gentle with yourself. Make it all right. What you don't know, mistakes that you make. It's okay. Handle it. Learn from the experience. Decide that you are going to whatever you become involved in to be up front, to be true to yourself. Are you getting what you need out of it? And be up front with people and tell them what you need from them. Don't assume that they know. Don't say, I thought you knew. No, tell people up front. Here's what I need from this in order for this to work for me. Be up front with your stuff. Tell them up front so they're not surprised later on. 
So your feelings aren't hurt later on. See, if they tell you up front they can't do it, now you know you can keep on stepping. But tell people up front, here's what I want. In order for me to play this game with you, if we're going to dance, this is what i got to get out of it. See, if you don't take care of your needs, guess what? You will always have that nagging song in the back of your mind say, well, when do I get mine? See, we're taught to be quiet and not speak up for ourselves and not to be selfish. If you don't take care of you, who do you think is going to take care of you? Who's going to look out for you better than you will? No one. No one's going to do that. You got a business? No one's going to take care of your business better than you. Nobody. Nobody. Anything you want to do in life, you've got to take ownership of it and say, hey, I'm going to make this happen. Be willing to venture out and do something that you have fantasized about doing. And you know you probably won't be good at it, but do it anyhow. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.